In this lesson, we're going to talk about integrating x squared over x squared plus 1 dx. So what do you think we need to do in this problem? What we're going to do is we're going to add 1 and negative 1 to the numerator. The reason why we can do this is because the value of the numerator hasn't changed. It's still equal to x squared. x squared plus 1 minus 1 is x squared. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 plus x squared is still x squared. Now at this point, we want to break it up into two fractions. So x squared plus 1, we're going to divide it by the denominator. And then negative 1, we're going to divide it by the denominator separately. So we can split it into two integrals. The first one is going to look like this. x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. And then the second one is going to have the other part, negative 1 over the same denominator. Now x squared plus 1 divided by itself is equal to 1. So we just have the integral of 1 dx on the left side. And then I'm going to move the negative sign to the front. So this is going to be negative integral 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Now how can we integrate this expression? We need to use trigonometric substitution. We're going to make x equal to tangent of u. And so dx is going to be the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared u du. So we're going to have the integral of 1 over tan squared plus 1. And then we could replace dx with secant squared du. Now the integral of 1 dx, that's just going to be x. So I'm just going to write that there. Now we can replace 1 plus tan squared, or tan squared plus 1, with secant squared. It's one of the three Pythagorean identities that you need to know. So we have the integral of secant squared, u du, over secant squared which we could cancel these two expressions. And so what we now have is x minus the integral of 1 du. So the integral of 1 du is going to be u plus some constant c. Now, if x is equal to tangent u, u is going to be the inverse or the arc tangent of x. So the final answer is x minus arc tangent of x plus c. And so this is the integral of x squared over x squared plus 1. And that's all you got to do for this problem.